So all the interns had the collective idea today to dress up as Scooby-Doo characters because we have to go around dropping off like pamphlets to like mu local museums, not museums, but like local hotels of like the museum pamphlets. And um, you can tell who I'm dressed as, Daphne. <laughs> I was like, I call her and no one else can take her because I currently have red hair and I'm like, I, I'm choosing Daphne. So I'm wearing heels the entire day, but it's mainly gonna be driving, which can't be too bad. But what's so funny is we have a meeting today. All the interns have a meeting with one of our bosses. And we're like, who's gonna tell her? <laughs> so it's really funny that it's like, we're all dressed as like characters and we have a meeting. And so we're just gonna show up dressed in cost costume, but like work appropriate. And she's just gonna be like, so did I just not get the email and it's like, Hey. So there's Daphne, Velma, Freddie, and then, well, there might be a Velma, and I know there's a Shaggy. There actually might be two Shaggies. We got confused. So there might be two Shaggies, but I know for sure there's a Freddie, and there's Daphne. So I will update you with uh, what everyone looks like, because I think it's hilarious. So stay tuned. Oh, and later this week, we have a Buffalo trip. All the interns, we're gonna be driving to Buffalo to go see some of the Frank Lloyd Wright stuff. So I will be filming them. And so there's that. And I think, and then tomorrow, actually, well, today's Tuesday. So tomorrow, we, <laughs> it's a very weird event going on. One of us has to dress up in like a mascot outfit. And then two of us are bodyguards bodyguards to like help them see so i will be a bodyguard <laughs> so we're dressing up in all black to really commit to the role and then there's a photographer which is the fellow intern so we're like yeah yeah these are very serious roles we have to be bodyguards to make sure he doesn't fall down the stairs i don't, I don't know what's happening here this is not a real job i don't know what's happening a group of local citizens banded together, formed the Conservancy, which was about 1997 through 1998, and opened, um, or it started the restoration. So, the, the driveway is lined by flowers and by television.
I'm pretty excited because I ran out of sunscreen literally today, I think. And I'd ordered this, I don't think even a week ago. And it's already here, so it's pretty cool. I ordered, I think three things. So I'm pretty excited. Oh my gosh, it's just bubble wrap. So I ordered some toner pads. I didn't know which brand to get, but I ordered this one because I feel like I had to. Like, if you know me, you know why I ordered it. It's pretty funny. But they're Green Tangerine Vita C toner pads and I heard they're really good. So really excited for that because my toner, I feel like just hasn't been that good. Oh, it comes with 10 extra, has extra toner pads. Oh, so it comes with little tweezers so you don't have to use your fingers to touch it, which is really nice. Sanitary. It smells good. So this is what that looks like. I'm excited to use it tonight. Um, I also ordered the, I think it's Beauty of Joseon sunscreen. This is what I've been using for the last, I'd say month and a half or so. And they actually had a deal where it was like, buy one, get one. As you can see, the one plus one. So I ordered that, which I'm excited for, because I ran out of it literally, I think yesterday. So I didn't have any to use today. sunscreens so that's exciting because I thought I had a mini one but it turns out it was their face wash so couldn't use that no way of sunscreen so I'm excited and then I needed to have $60 for free shipping and I was at like 50 55 or something and so I needed something to put me over so I needed like five five dollars or something so I was just looking to see like what was cheap and I found something for seven. I was like, oh yeah, sure. It was literally the Innisfree foundation. And I was like, that's insane. Cause I know Innisfree is a really good brand. So I got the Innisfree No Sebum Powder Cushion SPF 35 foundation or whatever in the shade 17N. I, I'm hoping it's like the right shade. I don't know if it is, but we will see. It might be. Oh yeah, that is the right shade. That's insane. I was worried it was gonna be too dark. Nope. It's the perfect shade. So, I got a foundation for $7. And a good brand too, so it's really exciting, so. I know it's not. When it yeah. Its head, when you it turn its head, you can see the pointy ears.